Virtually every time my editor sends me the first cut of a Friendly Geordies video, he Rick rolls me by sending me a cut of that Buy Dat Merch song by Jake Paul. If you haven't looked it up, pure genius. It's the best rap song since Jitter Juice. You had your time at the Sud, Snoop Dogg. Now you've got to move over for that guy that looks like a potato chip. And the thing is, <laughs> Jake Paul made me realise, not listening to that, it was actually the song that is most popular on his channel, which is, it's every day, bro. That guy's a genius. Genius is in simplicity, folks. He has condensed one of the key principles of success down to a single sentence and then put it on T-shirts and then sold it through the Buy Dat merch shop. He's a self-contained powerhouse. Okay, so the reason that that's so genius is because that's pretty much the key to success in that most people think that if they do their 40 hours of work, that they're going to get ahead in life eventually. There's all these people that go, oh, I work my ass off like a dog. Like a fucking dog. I don't understand what the meaning is of dog anymore. I've been looking at so many Deros because I've made so many m videos recently about, like, cunts at Maccas, basically. And they use it so much. You fucking dog. Every time I think about a dog, I think of a golden retriever sitting there quite politely going, is, is there a duck in that pool? Oh, well, do you mind if I swim in there anyway? Just a really nice animal. And this, I work like a dog. What does that mean? Dogs don't even work. They sit down. When did they ever work? They just picked up small animals they could fit in their mouth. That was basically their function. <clears throat> You're not working that hard if you're working like a dog. See, the thing is, most people think that if they do their 40 hours, that's what, you know, everyone else is doing it around them. And so they think that, yeah, that's that's what everyone's doing. And then they go, I don't tell you what, life's too hard. Why, why am I not getting ahead? Because here's something that you need to realise about the 40-hour work week. Really glad that it exists. Thank you very much, unions, for negotiating through generations of people getting shot at the streets so that we don't have to work in a salt mine for 18 hours. That's great. But also, it's it's a living wage. That's the point of it, unless you're in America. Suck shit. But in Australia, 40 hours a week is your living wage. That's what you do to survive. Any work over the top of that, that's where you start to get ahead. You will see it consistently. I think it was a study of, conducted over a thousand millionaires. It was something along the lines of 96% of them worked way more than 40 hours. Most of them worked 80 hours a week and a few of them were working 60 hours if they were one of those, this is how you just, you sit back, you put a bunch of money into shares and then you write the tax system. But even they had to work really hard at writing the tax system. You don't get away with your 40 hours. That is the bare minimum that you're supposed to put in. I personally think that you should just go on the dole and then just do whatever you want with all of your time. But every time that I say that, everyone's just like, you've been making people be a gold bludger. Right in the tax system, though. That's that's not bludgeon. Good on them. No, that's, that's just smart. <coughs> Contrast, say. Eh? Mm, think about it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This is pretty much it. Why did Jake Paul get ahead so far? Well, the predominant reason is because he was releasing a video every day. That's the foundation of it. Then he was just looking at what trends are happening at the moment and started to copy them. And th look, th that's fine. Everyone always just goes, you're not original, bro. You're not original. No one's original at the beginning. You have to copy your influences and then eventually you get your own flavor. But you have to, the reason why you copy your influences at the beginning is so you understand what the little movements are that make them good. And then you start putting your own personality into it. But that comes later. In the beginning, go for it. Just completely rip someone off. Just take their video, put it on your channel. <laughs> it's probably going too far, but, you know, that's just one opinion. Some people might think it's not going far enough. Maybe you should kill them, put their face over the top of them, and then just absorb their character. I mean, that's, that's what some psychopaths do in some movies. Maybe they've got it right. Who knows? <laughs> Someone's sitting there. Kill someone, take their face off, make it mask. Hmm, makes sense. Uh, all right, so down to the serious business of this very loose point that's just purely related to clickbait, but it actually is foundational, which is that the more you work, eventually you will see those results. There's something called inertia, though, whereby if you just start working out, say, for instance, and you're a fat shit, 
The next day, a lot of people just go, Oh, I feel tired. And I'm still a fat shit. Where's my six pack? We well, have to do it for fucking years, dickhead. And eventually what happens is after a while, it starts building on itself. Like when you start working out. If you start working out for six months, most people quit after two weeks when they go, Yeah, yeah, resolution. I just wish I was one of the girls from Sex in the City. Not the ginger one, though. Ooh. But they, 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 uh, they only start it for a while. They don't see any results, so they give up. And also because they're tired and it just life gets in the way. But if you stick at it after six months, you get addicted to working out. You start feeling gross if you don't work out. And so that's when it starts building on itself. That's when success starts building on itself and then you just get those rock hard abs. But it's the same thing with uh, getting ahead in life, right? You, you, you don't get ahead by working 40 hours a week. You get ahead by working 80, 100 hours a week. You will see it over and over again with millionaires regardless in whatever field that they're pursuing. The point is that there was just a lot of old-fashioned elbow grease and they don't want to tell you that idea because it's not sexy, but it's the truth. Most people just have this kind of idea in the media of this overnight millionaire success that just lives in a mansion for some reason. And that definitely happens. That's just what's called being like... Winning vagina lotto, getting born out of the right vag, yeah? So, good for those people, but for everyone else, you have to just, like, do the work of three people, essentially. 120 hours! I'm pretty sure that's the reason why I got ahead at the end of it, because I'm not putting out a video a day, so I don't have, like, a thousand different... and, and not following trends. I'm doing the exact opposite of that. I'm going, like, everyone else is just going, ah, you know what's really important at the moment? that Lisa Wilkinson isn't getting paid as much as Carl Stefanovic. Sexism? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe it's the fact that she's a piece of cardboard. She's the best piece pa paid piece of cardboard of the world. No one looks at Oprah Winfrey, for instance, and goes like, why isn't Dr. Phil getting paid as much? Because he looks like a retired police officer, that's why. I don't know. <laughs> what, what has that got to do with this? Look, what I want you to think about is that message, which is, it's every day, bro, just watch that rap. That is actually an incredible motivational work. It is a triumph of human endeavors because it's got in it, at its core, something that will help you go very far, which is that you don't, if you want to be a success, if you want to be able to make money out of doing, look, the way that I define success, everybody has a different definition and that's fine. It's not wait for that we're all different and special. Dancing with gnomes and fairies! <laughs> um, uh, look, just my personal definition is just doing what you love and getting paid for it. Now, those jobs are really, really hard to develop and they're even harder to maintain because as soon as you get a job like that, what does everyone else who wishes that they had that job do to you? They just start putting shit on you. And if you think that sitting around being like, man, I'm on the doll, it's really hard living with this. Man, heavy lies the crown, bruh. As if I have the crown. But the thing is that, uh, you know, you know, like, but, but the thing is that once you start getting a public profile, if that's what you're into, or even if you just want to start selling jewelry beads, there'll be all these cunts that start hating on you, haters, <laughs> how Jake Paul is this video, haters, uh, but they, they will start doing that basically because they're just jealous, mm. uh, so, so, th that's, j th look, mindset is a different video, god, I gotta stop saying that, don't I, no, actually, you know what, you just get used to me, if you can't deal with me at my worst, then you can't deal with me at my best, that is the wussiest thing I've ever seen, anybody who puts that up on their Instagram, well, I, I don't want to be friends with you, so, what we're going to be really honing in is that if you aren't moving to what, first of all, if you don't have goals, go to the goal setting video, it's at the very beginning of this channel, get those, and if you're like, I don't know what goals to put on, easy goals, start working out every day, start reading a book, at least one book a week, at least aim for one book a week, it doesn't matter if you don't hit it, because if you're reading two or three books a month, so much better than other people that have just gone like, uh, Dan Brown's, like two of his books, uh, Stephen King, pick that up, but then it wasn't scary enough in the first chapter, so I thought, fuck this, I'll watch the movie. You're doing better than those people, aren't you? Just easy, simple things like that. And then, as a result of reading these books, you'll start to see what you're interested in, and then because you see what you're interested in, you'll go, oh, actually, I want to move my life more in this direction. But it starts with that discipline, right? 
And the discipline is of just basically becoming a workaholic. So just think about it, like with Jake Paul, how he doesn't have a weekend. He's always on the grind. Disney Channel. Fucking tough shit. You know? I want you to think about it in that context. You don't have a weekend anymore. If you want to have that kind of a lifestyle, if you just want to go and work in Centrelink and have people there being like, I was waiting in a fucking line for 20 minutes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, um, I might have to get security to date you. No, I just want my fucking money. Uh, take it and leave. If you want to have that kind of a life, that's fine. That's, and and those, that's really important and cool. But if you want to have a life where it's, you know, a little, a little more... I don't know, selfish, I guess, <laughs> where you do doing what you want to do. There's ways to make it your benefit everyone. But the, those kind of a li- that kind of a life, you need to be doing something every day. Something momentous every day, in fact. And it, in fact, it, like, momentous doesn't actually mean big. Obviously it does. <laughs> Stupid word. But it's just something that moves you towards your goals every single day. And I want you to start documenting it. First of all, so it starts moving around in your mind that actually I'm getting pleasure out of this and I'm doing something every day. That's really cool. So it becomes habitual, just like how you start going to the gym for six months and then after that you start feeling gross if you don't. If you sit there and have a day where you do nothing, I've got all these stoner friends that just sit there and are just like, yeah, man, far cry, 16 hours. Was that a good day? No, that day made me feel fucking terrified. So, I want you to get to that point where if you play Far Cry for 16 hours, you feel scared. Not even gross. Like, really just like, I just watched Paranormal Activity. That's what I want you to do when you look at those people just being like, you want, you want to turn, bro? I want you to get to that point. And the way that you do that is that you start documenting your successes every day. Because it starts putting that habit in your mind that I do things towards my goal every day, bro. It's every day, bro. It's every day. I'll see you next week. Every day, bro.